God praise God I am back like I told y'all okay so this is what God was showing me what's going on in the next phase let me go ahead and I'm telling y'all I don't know what they're doing I can't hardly see people so let me see when I see one or two and I'm gonna just go y'all know that I'm just gonna go praise God praise God okay praise God praise God all right I still don't see anyone. Let me know that you can see me and hear me. You guys, I told you, feel like they're doing something every time I get on here lately. And I already know why. Because I'm more beaten than I've ever been. And I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. The devil is a lie. But I keep it 100. When I was out there doing what I was doing, I did it. Now that I'm in the kingdom of God, I do. I live it. I breathe it. I am it. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. So if you can see my title. There's a shift. I'm going to say it again. There's a shift. There's a shift. What is the shift? This is the time to be more serious than ever before. This is the time to be obedient than ever before. This is the time not to play with sin ever before. I'm not playing. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you the truth before God. If you are in any type of sin, I suggest you ask God to get you out of it right now. Because here's what's happening. That's why we've seen a lot of death, mayhem. Or better yet, this story makes me so upset. In, out of Tennessee. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see his name. I want to call it, that fool name out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Because if, if this ain't it. Okay, so hold on. All right, I got the thing. Hold on. We app it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I just want his name. I don't want to even. Okay. It's the guy name. Maybe I shouldn't even say his name, huh? Maybe I shouldn't even say his name. But anyway, he is the guy from, that's right, I'm not even going to say his name. He don't even deserve me to say his name. But anyway, um, what had happened is it was in Tennessee. And the guy was married. And the girl had just, I think she was 27 or 29 years old. It, it's all over the news. All you got to do is go Google it. But um, long story short, he lowered her on his birthday, February the 1st, shot her in the head, right? Then took the two-day-old baby and threw the baby away in the river like the baby was trash. I don't know those people, but that hurt my spirit, that hurt my heart. And all I could do is pray, and I said, God, what's going on? He said, Deanna, you know what's going on. Y'all are not using wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody. I'm about to walk this thing out. I didn't, I didn't got excited and not excited like you think. I'm sick of the enemy. But hold on. We giving them too much power. Come on, somebody. We giving them too much power. How much power are we giving them? Y'all know how many people try to trap me and trap me? F fake friends. Fake men that say they like me. Fake this, fake that. And then get mad when, when I call them on it. Because one thing about it, being close to God, I, and you don't have to be a prophet to be close to God. The closer you get to God, God will show you everybody and everything. God will tell you the desires of their hearts. God will tell you, don't do this, don't go here. But when you don't have wisdom and discernment, I promise you, you know what's going to happen? The enemy is going to set you up. And what does the Bible say the enemy does? He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. So God is saying, shift in this hour. Shift in this hour. Shift in this hour. There's a sense of urgency. What is the shift? Shift in obedience like never before. Make it hard. Somebody write that in the comments. Make it hard for them demons to play with you. I'm going to say that again. Make it hard for them demons to play with you. I'm going to say it one more time. Make it hard for those demons to play with you. They can't play with me. They can say what they want. You can't play with me. Not because I'm all that, but because I have wisdom and discernment and I have a relationship with God. And what I don't see, what I miss, he's going to wake me up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and tell me the whole story. And I'm going to be honest with you. You know how you, you know how come I went through so, so much stuff in 2015, 16, 17, 18, even 19? And I'm going to be transparent because that's what y'all need. Most of that was my fault. Now, hold on. The devil did it, but... And I knew because I, you know, I knew, but I was thinking, oh, it's not really like that. Or they're not going to really, do. what they did it. At. I remember one time in New York, I almost got killed. Set up, set up, set up. I did not, I did not ask God. I just went, I just, I was upset. And that's why another thing, don't make no decisions when you're upset because then you can't think clear and you can't hear God. I almost got killed over nothing set up. I'm not kidding. I don't play games. 
Why are you saying this prophetess? Because in this hour, the enemy is killing too many of God's people. Because you're not listening and you're not waiting. And because people want to be loved. There it is. There it is. There it is. Everybody want to be loved. But I'll be doggone if I want to be loved by a killer or a thriller. Y'all got to understand what's going on. And people of God, are you praying in these areas? That you live in, in Tennessee, in Dallas, in Florida. I'm praying in Atlanta. I'm praying, but I can't pray by myself. I can pray by myself. But really and truly, and I'm getting ready to do something. I'm getting ready to do something here. I can't, I'm not going to put it out there because people, y'all know what people be doing. That's sad. You can't even tell. But don't worry. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm getting more serious. I have to be because too many people are dying without. God, y'all. This is not a game. This is about no money. Money ain't going to, you can't get to heaven with money. Okay? Honey or funny? God say, men look at the outside. We, we see how each other look good and this and that. God say, I check your heart. And if your heart ain't right, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. I'll leave this stuff real. This stuff ain't no game. So God is shifting everyone. Saying, get more serious. Understand and address the sin in your life. Stop being around fake people. One of the things in DMX song, Lord, give me a sign. There's one part where it says, tell me something because I'm tired of listening to people and know they fronting. That's one of my favorite verses in that whole song. I'm so tired of listening to people and I know they be fronting with me. I mean, be just lying to me and I just be. And they be lying and I know they be lying. Hate me. Don't like me. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But God have, got, have, have graced me with, with grace and, and, and humbleness to where I'm going to pray for you because you're going to need it. I'm 53 years old and I love telling my age because I can't believe I made it. Come on, somebody. I know what I used to be. I know what I used to do. And now I know what I carry. Never understood why I went through that so I can get to this. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's a shift that must come. There's a shift that must come. There's a shift. Stop playing. That's, that's the whole thing. God says, stop playing. Please stop playing. You don't know when your hour going to come. And, and people, they selling their soul for money, honey, and funny. You must don't understand what the word eternal means. Eternal means forever and ever, ever, and ever, ever. The Bible says that if you go to hell, you will burn. There will be a, a tormenting, for eternal. You believe it or not, some people say, I don't care. Long as I can have fun on this side. Long as I can have the money on this side. Long as I can have the honey on this side. You are in deception. You have a reprobate mind. So this is the hour to pray for people like never before. Forgive people like never before. And be obedient. I have never been disobedient. I'm not lying. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Even with shutting your mouth and people. Are... The old Deanna. <laughs> Woo! What I wouldn't have said. And what I wouldn't have did. They wouldn't have been playing with me. But if I truly am a woman of God. I can't walk like that. I can't talk like that. I can't act like that. That's why I don't understand. Oh, Lord, you're going to make me say it. I ain't know you was going to make me say it. Wait a minute, God. Y'all need to stop there. Just to get seen, we'll say things and do things. Y'all know where I'm going. Stop that. Stop that. that. That's the wrong. That's not of God. Stop that. Stop that. A woman of God is supposed to be wise, have discernment. And I had to learn that. I had to learn that. This shift. I told y'all, people are going to expose themselves. You ain't going to set nobody up no more, even though y'all still doing it for money, honey, and funny. You ain't got to do that. All you got to do is sit back. People, God is making people expose themselves in this hour. And it's not funny. It's really not. Then you want to pray for them. Because some of y'all are laughing at people. Y'all better stop laughing at people. Because God, the Bible says that stuff will turn on you. I'm going to say that again. Y'all better stop laughing at people. Because God said that stuff will turn on you. Stop laughing at people. That's not funny. Because one thing I've always known, one thing God can allow, one thing, it'll change your whole life. 
It could be an accident. It could be this. It could be that. Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. My son-in-law just lost his first cousin. Head-on collision in Louisiana. Young brother. It's not funny. This is an hour we got to come together. This is an hour we have to forgive each other. This is an hour you got to stop being so hateful and ugly. Just stop. Stop. You, you're so mad. You're so mad. You're so mad. You're so bitter. You're so bitter. And you think it's not affecting you. And it's affecting every area of your life. Every area of your life. Oh, you, you know they must be doing something because that's, that's the only time I hear that. Whatever that is. I ain't never heard my computer do that. Go figure. So I pray that you continue to be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. And I'm praying for you. When I say prayer requests or when I'm I'm praying for real, I pray 20. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Y'all don't know how to come at me. Y'all have no idea. But as long as God keep me strong in the Lord, I'm going to keep on going to the day I die. And that's what we're supposed to do. Point blank in the story. So, just want y'all to see how serious it is. I want y'all to know where we're at as a whole. It's time to come together. It's time to stop being. The world, we see what they're doing. Death and destruction. That's not supposed to be in the body of Christ. It's supposed to have love, joy, peace, forgiveness. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through the pulling down of strongholds, but through the spirit. God says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. You can only do it in the spirit and you must walk in truth. And when you miss it, repent. That's what I love about King David. King David didn't lie about nothing. I did it, God. I did it. Help me. Don't take the Holy Spirit from me. That's what we are. No, none of us. None of us. None of us got it together. None of us. Stop playing. I don't care who it is. Nobody has it together. We're all processing. We're all trying to make it. Know what I say? Trying. Because then nobody can say, I'm, I'm going to heaven. Not even me. I want to go. I'm going to do everything I can. But the Bible says every day, every day, every day, make good choices. Every day. With fear and trembling. <laughs> so God bless you. God keep you. This is General Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> God bless.